state government has limited the service hour of churches and mosques to one hour in a bid to curb the spread of the coronavirus in the state. These were contained in a statement shared by the Kaduna Governor Nasir El Rufai on Sunday. He he said, further to COVID-19 containment measures announced last week, KD Kaduna State Government has directed civil servants below grade level 14 to work from home on Monday, from that's December 21st, 2020. Places of worship must enforce face masks provide sanitizers and ensure physical distancing. The number of worshippers will be capped. Congressional worship should not exceed one hour. Transport operators must reduce capacity not to not to more than two passengers per row and not more than 50% capacity. The Cardinal State Government appeals to all residents to see COVID-19 prevention as a personal responsibility. Well, to be honest, I understand that fine they have to keep the economy going but then there wouldn't be an a reduction in cases still there might be but i don't think it would be as impactful to basically reduce the amount for the fact that people are going and leaving their houses just shows that um that just increases the likelihood of you know spreading the coronavirus because at the end of the day sanitizers and all these measures should always be in churches anyway coronavirus or not they should always be there but it doesn't mean that you know that it's going to actually stop the prevention another and another question that you need to ask is the Kaduna state medical team like the hospitals in the state are they all up to good quality standards where they can be like okay fine if something should go wrong okay we put in all these measures but then it's still like that cases will go up is our hospitals are they um of adequate um facility are they actually good enough for us to actually plan and be like okay fine if these things will go wrong we could use the hospitals and our equipment to try to curb this i don't think it makes sense well somebody first here says i'm not acceptable god punish these sinful and wicked politicians i don't understand what this person means um Somebody says bandits and other criminal organizations operating within the state kill more than the COVID-19. Hmm, that's a good argument. So I think as a serious government, we should focus more on how to tackle the insecurity in the state like any than any other issue for now. I mean, to be honest, the, the, the statement really seems... I mean, for the fact that he ended up saying it is a personal responsibility shows how sort of incompetent and lazy that they are. They're trying to show... They're trying to, you know... Um, of course, it is your personal responsibility to be sanitary and make sure your your environment is hygienic but for the fact that them they're you know putting all these restrictions in as oh the organizations must do this pull hand sanitizers in place you know they're basically pushing all the work on the people of the state when the state i don't think has provided enough facilities medical help also has also um, provided financial help for people who can't even work who are you know working on like and receiving wages so to be honest they can't really fake it and make it seem like they're proactive when all the work is them telling us what to do to be honest somebody says how is the church the problem of the politicians don't worry god will visit you in his anger was it church that brought covid 19 to nigeria how can somebody say this with their chest the church obviously is not the problem i i now we're not going to reply to that comment. Someone says, even Lagos state that had the highest number of this virus didn't impose any restrictions on the people, except this short man, Terence in power. What? The fact is that the virus is still out there. At the end of the day, there's so many theories as to who it can affect and what can it not affect. But the fact is, in us living in Nigeria as we are, the medical system and the medical, the national health system is not something that we can, that can be relied upon. So at the end of the day, you have to take it to yourself as your personal responsibility to keep yourself safe. You are, we're even lucky that these, these people are actually addressing the people on what to do. Because the fact is, on a normal day, if this was not a worldwide issue, they would probably not even be saying anything about it. Hmm. Somebody says the government is always quick to impose restrictions as if that is what they know only. I feel like, yeah, imposing restrictions when they don't have a plan obviously seems very, very off. Somebody says, if I have any churches or mosques complaining about the number of members 
concerning COVID-19, our thinking is finished. I don't even know at this point. Hmm. Somebody says, our drama governor at it again. Kaduna State Script Play Writer. Hmm. Rather than find a way to stop bandits, church and mosque has become soft target for government officials. Absolutely. I mean, at this point, it doesn't matter what you think or what, what religion, you know, you, you do. But the fact is that, you know, really, churches and mosques, it has been a trend. So obviously, they are probably the first that they would be like, oh, restrictions are on, as in strict restrictions. I mean, in the first lockdown when it came, when there were church services, they were literally arresting pastors and things, which personally for me, I thought that that was effective enough because at the end of the day, at that time, it was the height of the COVID-19, you know, um, vir the, COVID um, the coronavirus. And of course, it was actually deadly at the point and everyone was scared. But yes, I believe that when you're imposing restrictions, that have nothing to do with you actually putting in the work but then restricting the people especially when you don't have a plan in terms of you know um financially aiding these people through this difficult time or at least the basics of just providing good health care as in okay fine we are putting these restrictions but then if or not even if when the numbers go up we at least have you know a way a solution to try curb those numbers keep people isolated and that kind of thing so again it's like you don't make a plan and then tell people to follow through with the plan when you yourself don't have you know something that the people could be like okay fine the government is actually taking care of the ci the citizens <laughs> somebody says i think this man has brain disorder at this critical condition that we are in in southern kaduna we impose new restrictions wait how are people even surviving as for now without the restrictions? Let's see. Let me tell you, hunger virus is more dangerous than COVID-19. True. I mean, poverty um, eradication is a big, you know, problem. Um, Please, against next time, my people of Kaduna State, any politician that comes out and contests for governorship must be diagnosed <laughs> and present the paper to the public. Mad people everywhere. I mean, yeah, I feel like, to be honest, hunger and insecurity, they, I think these are the main issues that are rampant in terms of, if you look at the statistics of how many people actually pass away, you'd actually see that the COVID-19, obviously, we're not trying to say it's not there, but then the bigger issue with, you know, hunger, you know, you know, um, poverty, insecurity, very, very important. Those ones are literally the one. I mean, those are being kidnapped you know um farmers were being killed it's i think security is the issue that you should be focusing on because this sounds very very selfish to me for you to end on a note of um personal responsibility and all that bull crap when you are not even putting any um any system in place for you to actually help the people it's a corporation thing you don't just give the people the work to do and you don't do anything absolutely hypocritical put what you think about this in the comment section below and do not forget to like and subscribe.